Fall is a good time of year to find cool reptiles. Reptiles and amphibians spend this time to move from summer locations to places more suitable for the upcoming winter. Over a longer period of time, I will be looking for these animals in a variety of different habitats. I started by hiking this mountain. The first animal I found was this eastern garter snake. The snake deters potential predators from eating it by releasing a foul-smelling musk. Since this garter snake had recently eaten something, I didn't want to pick it up. Additionally, there were other people with me, so I didn't want to stress it out. Continuing the hike, I was also able to find these green frogs. Frogs like this one don't live that long and usually only live for 3-5 to five years in the wild because of the amount of predators they face. Reptiles, mammals, and birds all tend to eat green frogs. Green frogs like this one can usually be found along the edges of ponds, marshes, and vernal pools. They sit and wait to jump in the water in case of an emergency. I continued to look for more reptiles by heading to another location. That's when I found a turtle crossing the road. This is the common snapping turtle. These turtles can deliver a nasty bite when they're threatened. That's why picking a snapping turtle up improperly can be very dangerous and lead to injury to the turtle and yourself. Of course, I made sure it got across the road safely. Once I got to the forest, I found this American toad. It wasn't an adult, but it was already quite big. These toads secrete a toxin from their parotoid glands behind their eyes. Predators then decide the toad would be unpleasant to eat. I managed to find another toad with a light gray coloration. American toads are not normally active in the day once they're full adults. The woods were also home to this eastern garter snake that was lying around some trash. As I mentioned before, these snakes produce a bad musk, so I instantly let it go after observing it. Garter snakes like to eat toads like the ones I saw earlier. These snakes evolved to become immune to the bufotoxin. Not too far from the garter snake, I spotted a log. Underneath the log was an eastern redback salamander. These salamanders are primarily insectivores, but they also eat a wide variety of other invertebrates. These fossorial salamanders aren't always red, but they can often be identified by their slender appearance. Next, I return to a place where I like to find reptiles and amphibians. One of the two amphibians I found was a pickerel frog. These frogs are named after pickerel fish because of their similar pattern. The spots along their back are divided in clear columns, which help separate them from other frog species. The other frog I found was a wood frog. They can be orange, brown, or gray. This wood frog was perfectly camouflaged with the ground. Towards the end of the day, I found a multitude of northern ringneck snakes. They can be hard to find because they spend most of their time underground. This subspecies of ringneck snake also has a colorful yellow belly, along with a characteristic ring around their neck. Fossorial snakes, like the northern ringneck snake, generally eat salamanders and insects. After admiring them, I let the snakes back into the rocks.